what's up? It's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com, and today I'm actually on location here in Los Angeles. I'm actually meeting up with my friend Allison from the Food Heals podcast, and she invited a bunch of people over to do some recipe videos highlighting certain recipes that are actually healing. So I'm gonna be doing an anti-inflammatory smoothie, and some of the other chefs here are gonna be doing different recipes as well. So I'm gonna interview them, talk to them about some of the healing foods and healing ingredients that they're gonna be using in their recipes. And actually, I've been actually feeling a little under the weather myself. If you notice recently, my upload schedule hasn't been as consistent as it normally has. I try to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes it's been Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Sometimes it's been Tuesday, Thursday. And about a month ago, I had some sort of stomach bug that was making me nauseous for about a week, which kind of put me back a little bit. And actually last week, after I filmed the Del Taco Goes Vegan video, uh, I came down with a cold actually that night, which pretty much knocked me out this week. So. I should be back to a normal upload schedule here pretty soon, but I need some healing. They got some great food in there, and let's go check it out. All right, so I am here with Allison from the Food Heals podcast. Thanks for having me, but I have to say, I'm a little intimidated. By what? Because I'm looking at <laughs> who's here today shooting these videos. Jason Robel, mm -hmm. who's a chef. Leslie Durso, mm -hmm. who's a chef. <laughs> and then there's me. And me, and <laughs> not chef. I just make videos on YouTube. I'm not yes. a chef. So I'm yeah. like, you know, we'll see what happens. And Melissa so. from Fork and Plants, also True. a chef. A chef. <laughs> so I'm not a chef. <laughs> so we're not a chef. So we're surrounded by chefs. I, I might have made a big, big, big well, faux pas here. Oops. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. We're gonna do it. They're gonna teach us how to make some great things, and then we're just gonna teach each other. So what are you gonna show me how to make? I don't know yet, but um, it'll Ooh. either be <laughs> maybe a maca chocolate. How does that sound? I just want to say maca chocolate. I know me too. <laughs> That's why I made that title <laughs> just for you. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, let's go see. Uh, let's go meet the chefs. Okay. And see what we're gonna be making. Sounds good. One camera, two cameras, three cameras, four, and there's one more, one more, <laughs> one more over there. And this welcome. man is the director today. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Six cameras. What's that? Six cameras. Six cameras. Simmer and whisk, simmer and whisk. 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 I love it when we're whisking together. That's good. <laughs> so I'm making my infamous golden turmeric milk. Uh, this is actually the most downloaded recipe on YouTube, the most watched recipe on YouTube. Uh, and it's super simple, it's super easy to make, uh, super heartwarming, awesome on a cold fall or winter night, or you can chill it in the summer. What makes this golden turmeric recipe healing is a few different ingredients. Of course, turmeric, the number one ingredient in this recipe, is known to be a potent anti-inflammatory due to a compound known as curcumin. In addition, we've got some ginger, which is amazing for improving circulation in the body. So we're gonna simmer this down, simmer it down now, and get it all nice and thick and frothy, and then strain out the chunks of ginger in there and blend it up into our final milk. Simmer and whisk, simmer and whisk. You're gonna whisk it. You're gonna drink it. I love it when we're whisking together. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> we're also karaoke champions. Uh, if y'all didn't know that, we have legendary, legendary karaoke stories and more to come. Yes. Hello. <laughs> we are here in the healing kitchen drinking a stunning skin smoothie. I clearly hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're fat. That's why you have brain freeze, because I'm drinking it slow, mm -hmm. so I'm good. Mm -hmm. What's in there? There's a collagen boosting vegan yum yum herb blend. A vegan collagen, everybody. Yep. You don't have to get your collagen from animals, you can get it from plants. And why is it so good for your skin? So I love the blueberries because of, they have vitamins A, C, and E. And vitamin C is so potent for the skin that, for example, Susie's grandfather, who's my co-host on the Food Heals podcast, lived to be 99 years old, mega dosed on vitamin C, and had no wrinkles. So was he like just cruising around picking up like 50 year olds yeah. when he was? Totally. I have no idea. Been so hard. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> What's tocos? Tocos is a uh, vitamin E from brown rice protein. Am I right? Yeah. Brown rice protein. I think. Or I got it's that actually right. like brown. It's like they they. I think they extract it from like um, the bran. It's okay. like Brown rice bran. Yeah. Um, but vitamin E is great because it's one of the most potent antioxidants, and we know that oxidative stress through anxiety, emotional stress, the environment, bad eating. 
creates more free radicals in the body which go and attack and destroy healthy cells. So okay. the more vitamin E we have, the more antioxidants in general, the more protective the benefits we have against oxidative stress and signs of aging. What he said. All right, so I just finished my recipe here on the Food Hills Kitchen, which was an orange crush smoothie. It reminds me of those orange crush sodas and the sunken sodas that I used to have as a kid. I didn't have a lot of soda, but when I did, I always grabbed those. What do you think? It reminded me of the orange Julius, that place in the mall that you always had growing up that was like an Ooh, integral yeah. part of oh, my childhood. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember those days. But this one's better, because it's way healthier. <laughs> Boost my immune system. Doesn't give me that sugar rush that I don't need. Let's see if we can remember the ingredients. I don't right. remember. Oranges, pineapple, mango, papaya. Turmeric. Turmeric, ginger, and coconut water. Yeah. So I'm it's like full of, <laughs> so it's full of anti-inflammatory, full of antioxidants, full of vitamin C, and it tastes great too. All right, so I am here with Melissa. Now, Melissa, we actually ran out of time, and you're not going to be able to cook your recipe today, but you're coming back tomorrow, and yes. I'm not going to be here. But what, are you, what recipe are you going to make that's healing and some of the healing properties in the foods? So what I am making is a matcha latte. I love matcha. I had to stop drinking coffee um, because it was upsetting my gut, so I switched to matcha, mm -hmm. and it is amazing. Um, matcha, it has L-theanine in it, L-theanine, which um, helps you stay alert yet calm. A bunch of Buddhists used to use it when they would meditate. So it just, it has like, gives you that focus that coffee can give you, but without the jitters. Uh, and it has coconut butter in it, which Ooh. has medium chain triglyc triglycerides, um, MCT, which helps your body, um, the more, it's more readily absorbed by your body, and it helps convert to energy. Um, yeah, so that's great, and it's delicious, makes it frothy. Um, <laughs> I put ashwagandha in there, which helps lower cortisol, and it's really good for stress and anxiety. And reishi, reishi mushroom. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good for immunity. Um, also helps you stay balanced and centered. And what else is in there? A little bit of cinnamon, helps blood sugar yes. levels. Cinnamon's great. Yes. I know Vince Team likes cinnamon. putting cinnamon with his chocolate. <laughs> And then a splash of milk, and, and then just hot water. You know, I think we need to have you back on the channel. Yeah. Because this recipe sounds amazing, and maybe Let's some others. Yeah, yeah, so let me let me know in the comments if you want her back, because I think you need to come do some recipes. It's also the end of the day. I'm tired. I'm more <laughs> alert. I'll have, my, we'll film right after I have my matcha. I'll know what I'm talking about. You're going to have all that energy I'm ready to go. All the energy. It's a long day here. All right, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks. That would be fun. I would love to be back. You will be. All right, sounds good. All right. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Leslie Gerso. I'm so excited to be in the kitchen today with Alice and Melody from Food Heals Kitchen, the series. And today we are going to make a smoothie for the soul. We're using butternut squash that's got a great source of fiber and potassium. We're doing sweet potatoes, which have everything in them, fiber, vitamins, potassium, calcium, iron, everything you need, it's the perfect food. Veggies are in, lid is on. If you like it, then you better put a lid on it. If you like it, then you better put a lid on it. Oh, oh. Mm. So yummy. Oh. Tastes like fall. Perfect for fall. I would eat it all year round though. Oh, well, me too. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm here with Leslie Durso, and we are making one of my favorite recipes. I'm super excited. Me too. Yes, okay. So this recipe is skin tightening, hydrating, and fat fighting. It is the triple threat tonic. I want all of those things. Yes. I want all of those things. <laughs> that is so good. Delicious. Am I glowing yet? <gasps> You're glowing. Oh my God. Am I? Yes. I am. You're like a ray of sunshine from inside. Oh my gosh. Do blondes have more fun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. Cheers, Cheers to that. <laughs> All right, so thanks for joining me here today on the Healing Kitchen set. Let me know in the comments if you want more of these vlog type videos where it's more than just what I eat in a day or some recipes or actually take you with me during the course of the day at different events. And a big shout out to everyone that was in this video. Links for Leslie, Jason, and Melissa's channels as well as the Food Heals podcast YouTube channel are in the description box below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week and join the Fit From Food notification squad by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button. 
And remember to keep living different food. And I'll talk to you soon.